I mean, sure, he feels threatened by the relationship a little bit, but I also feel like he feels threatened for her that she's going to become this, you know, this wife, you know? Like, her identity is going to be, I'm the wife of this guy. You know, and it's like, you know, it's, it's exactly the kind of guy that Gordon wouldn't like. It's like, you know, the guy's like a doctor. He's well-intentioned. He's sincere. It's like, ugh, you know, yes, we need people like that on the planet. He doesn't argue that point. But do I need them to be with one of my two daughters? No, you know. Right. And he already feels like Kim already did that. Because he's a lover of the improv and the line, like he's just like, okay, now say whatever you want. Now say this. And then he throws out lines. And as you throw out lines, somebody else throws out. And you just start to feel like, oh, we're going to do this. All, we're going to do this a lot of times, different ways. So you just feel like relaxed. Like he's going to do the dirty work of editing. He's like, you know, he's giving himself. When, every time he goes, go ahead, do this. He's giving himself another hour in the editing, you know. So it makes it you know, so generous to let everybody just kind of play, you know? Like all great stand-ups, what she brings is her honesty, you know? She's bringing her honesty. That's, that's it. She's coming in there and she's going, look, this is my life. This is how I see things. You can call me feminist. You can call me post-feminist. You can call me, you know, uh, party girl. You can call me, you know... Moral, whatever people want to label her as, it's still, she's just doing what she thinks is her honest truth. 